Sometimes you don't have to pay for your internet service. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Here's news I bet you never expected to hear. There's a company now offering free home internet service. Freedom Pop is offering one gig of 4G speeds for free a month. You just have to pay for the router, which costs $90. If you just use the internet for light things, such as checking email or Facebook, then this is an amazing deal. Now, if you stream movies, you'll need more data. It'll cost $10 a month for 10 gigs, or you can pay as you go for $5 a gigabyte. It uses Clearwire's WiMAX network, so you'll have to be in that coverage area. Free internet service can really be a game changer for the industry just like how Skype changed traditional voice calling. Facebook has updated new ways to access your privacy settings. There's no new privacy setting you have to worry about, but rather, Facebook is trying to make it easier on you to find the current options. There are some shortcuts in the toolbar up top. You'll get reminders about who can see your posts. For example, if you hide a photo from your timeline, Facebook will give you a notice that other people can still see the image in their news feeds. The activity log also changed, and there's a new option. You can send a request to a friend about photos you'd like them to take down. Microsoft's Surface tablet is now sold at Best Buy and Staples. Before this, the only way to buy the tablet was through a Microsoft retail store or online. There's been no official word from Microsoft about how many have bought the Surface, but last month, CEO Steve Ballmer said that sales were off to a modest start, but surely having it in big box retail stores will help. Some images have been posted online of what looks like the new BlackBerry 10L series phone. It's codenamed London. The images and video look pretty legit. It's got a 4.2 inch touchscreen with rounded off corners and it runs the long awaited BlackBerry 10 software. Research in Motion said it will release the operating system on January 30th, so maybe that's when we'll finally get an answer to see if this is the real deal. The photo sharing service Flickr just got new life with an updated iPhone app. Yahoo, which owns Flickr, has been putting a new focus around mobile and this is part of that game plan. The new app shows off individual photos better and improves how you can browse and comment on images. Android apps are next on the list. That's your tech news update. You can find links to all of these stories on the blog, cnet.com slash update, and you can always follow me on Twitter to stay updated. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.